Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick look ahead to the Phillies and Orioles exhibition game tonight. Of course, the Phillies are coming off of a great game pitch that was only on the radio for whatever reason, Nationals broadcasters. Um, but he pitched a great game, a great five innings. He had four strikeouts and only gave up one hit. Then Nearest came in and gave up one run. And then you had Cole Irvin come in and pitch a clean inning. And then you had Diolis Guerra, who has Major League experience, come in and pitch a clean inning. And then Edgar Garcia gave up one run, who's still struggling. So that's what we had from yesterday. And, of course, we had Diddy go deep and hit a three-run three bomb, excuse me, as well as Bryce Harper go deep and hit a three-run bomb tank bomb at Nationals Park, which of course there was no booing because of no fans. And then tonight we have former Phillies prospect Tom Eichelman going up against Zach Wheeler. Obviously as a former Phillies prospect other than against us, I wish him all the best. Hope he, he's a limited pitcher that showed some good signs in our system and then kind of just wasn't able to get going and really looks like he's more of a minor league depth type pitcher at this point but maybe he can surprise so wish him all the success but we have our second we have our second anchor of our staff in Zach Wheeler going tonight who looked great in the inter squad game he's coming into this game facing the Orioles if we have Wheeler after Noah looking great look good back to back those two that is a wonderful sign moving into the regular season and absolutely Great sign as we go up against their lineup, which their lineup tonight, Baltimore's, is Austin Hayes in center, Rio Ruiz at third, Renato Nunez at DH, Chris Davis at first, Pedro Severino at catcher, Hanser Alberto at second, DJ Stewart in left field, Pat Valaika at shortstop, and Stevie Wilkerson, who's the guy that pitched good last year with that slow ephus and great pitching skills. Um, out there in right field. And then for the Phillies, we have Andrew McCutcheon, who's DHing tonight, leading off with Bryce Harper batting second, JT batting third, Jay Bruce in left field batting fourth, and then Reese Hoskins at first base batting fifth, Diddy batting sixth, and then you have Gene, Mean Gene, hitting seventh at third base, and Scott Kingery, like somebody said on Twitter, that's a heck of a lineup to have Scott Kingery hitting in the eight spot. That is a heck of a lineup. And then you have Adam Hazley, one of my favorite guys, batting in the ninth spot, which is also a heck of a lineup to have a guy that has the potential to get on base like a Hazley in your ninth spot. And also the great Megan Montemoro of Phillies, reporter for The Athletic, said that Jose Alvarez, Reggie McClan, the great flame, th not the great, the, the solid flamethrower, he has a great arm, I meant to say, that we got from Seattle that needs to prove he can control the strikes, and if he does, he could be a good pitcher. Victor Arano, who obviously showed signs in 18, wasn't around last year, so we need to see if maybe he can be a good guy that can become a little bit of an anchor in a bullpen. Trevor Kelly, are also scheduled to pitch tonight. Kelly's more of just, again, another depth pitcher that's more of a minor league depth guy, but maybe he can surprise. I don't see it. Uh, he was in Boston for a while, didn't do much, but maybe he's able to surprise and do something. But all those other guys, obviously Alvarez is going to be big. Arano has a chance to be big for us, and McClan has a great arm, like I said, so he has a chance to be big for us. So we're going to get to see all those guys tonight, which is going to be very good for our team. And we might not get to see all of them, because if Wheeler's able to also go five, depending how I know Kelly's a guy that's able to go a couple innings, if you want to see that, you might not see every single person, but we'll see. Or if somebody like an Arana or a McClan has like a seven, like a very quick seven, eight pitch inning, you might let them go back out there. So you never know. You always plan it. But either way, this is going to be a heck of a game because it's actually live baseball against another team on TV and not just on the radio, even though it's against Baltimore. So it's going to be a game that we get to see Wheels come in and see what he can do against another team for the first time since spring training. So this is going to be a great 
test for our fills back to back to see how those two anchors of our staff do in back to back games. This has been a look ahead to the Phillies and Orioles. Have a great day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Peace out.